Texas Medical Center came to be in 1945. It's an entire medical city of over 4,000 acres, completely dedicated to advancing healthcare. Most people are used to seeing a large hospital in a city like Boston or Chicago. But to see the largest collection of hospitals, research institutions, academic centers, medical schools, dental school, nursing schools, there's nothing like it. The size and scale and scope of services that we provide here are not seen anywhere else in the world. And Houston has been the beneficiary for decades. By deed, it encompasses not-for-profit healthcare providers, which makes it by itself a little unique. The first hospital was Herman Hospital, which later became Memorial Herman, which is the second largest health system in all of Texas. Baylor College of Medicine was moved here from Baylor University, so the medical school was migrated from Waco down here to Houston. And MD Anderson Cancer Center came through a grant with the federal government to develop a cancer center. So it was really a number of these unique incidents that happened that formed the nucleus of the Texas Medical Center. One of the unique attributes of the Texas Medical Center is just the proximity of the providers. It allows the cross-fertilization of ideas. It creates some interesting synergies between our physicians. It allows our uh, providers and educators to share ideas on a real-time basis and ultimately makes this center and access to care very convenient when you talk about accessing multiple specialties. St. Luke's has very much benefited from being part of the Texas Medical Center. We have some of the finest physicians in the world practicing at St. Luke's. Many of them have come to this community because of the Texas Medical Center and the concentration of that expertise and the opportunity to apply their skills in a concentration of expertise like the Texas Medical Center. We treat over 10 million patients a year on this campus. That attracts the leading researchers to see such a large base of patients. The best of surgeons come here because they have access to all of these cases. The Texas Medical Center is hugely important to our region. They heal people there. They invent new ways of treating people to heal even more people. About one out of five clinical trials in the United States are done in the medical center. So it's important, not just to Houston and, and to the state of Texas, but really to the whole world. It's also a huge contributor to our economy, 120,000 jobs in the medical center alone. And so it has a big impact on employment. Uh, we have high skilled, highly trained people in the med center. That adds to our culture and our economy. If it was a standalone business district, it would be the eighth largest in the United States. $22 billion of our GDP come from this campus alone. That does not include Houston. The mission has been for 75 years is advancing health, education, and research. We've stayed true to that mission. I think we've actually expanded upon it. Now we have a larger responsibility of building out a life science ecosystem so that we can not only treat patients, but actually discover and advance the next generation of therapies. Because we have so much research going on here, and because we already have so many talented people doing that research and doing the teaching and providing care, it's become an increasingly attractive place for life sciences firms to locate. And so TMC3 Helix Park is a great example of that. The Double Helix Park, that is the new development that's being created by TMC that allows us to more tightly integrate translational research with the industry leaders that will take those new concepts and make them available to the public. They're also creating a collaboration among the institutions that are in the medical center. So all of that is very attractive to life science firms that we're trying to get to locate here. I think it's gonna create more opportunity. There'll be more jobs for people, more investment, 
more companies starting operations here in the life sciences. And that's been a piece that's really been missing here. We have the patient care, we have the research, we have the instruction, but we really don't have a lot of the for-profit firms in pharmaceuticals and medical devices, et cetera. We're starting to get that now. But I think having that space available so close to the medical center, as well as the other developments that are happening around town, is going to create a real opportunity for us to get on the map in life sciences. If you're a great scientist and you come up with what you think may be a novel drug to advance cancer care, you're not a business leader, you're not a person that builds a startup company, so you really need to wrap around that great scientist all the skills to build a company, to raise money, to incorporate, to protect your intellectual property. We now have a new forum to allow those practices to intersect with industry in a way that allows Houston to become truly recognized as a leader in the life science industry. The research being conducted at Baylor St. Luke's Medical Center, the clinical excellence that we see exhibited every single day, along with the leading specialists, enable us to achieve more life-changing breakthroughs discover more methods of prevention, and save more lives than ever before. We're looking forward to growing with the Texas Medical Center as science, as medicine evolves, and as we see new application of clinical techniques that allow us to care for people more efficiently, more effectively, and with an eye towards humanity.